Hello and welcome. Happy New Year. This is the first recording for Every Day Counts in 2023. My name is Tony, and we have an hour together for chair yoga. So welcome. Thank you for taking this time for yourself. Today, we're going to be considering how we want to move forward into our practice and ultimately into this new year. Rather than thinking about it as kind of like the traditional New Year's resolution, consider what you would like to invite more of into your life. Maybe there's a quality there, um, something as simple as calmness, quietness. Maybe um, it's the opposite to that. Maybe it's busyness. Maybe you want to um, do more things, be more out into the community, um, whatever it is for you. So in a moment when we tune in, I'm going to give you the opportunity, if something hasn't already arisen, to consider what you want to bring forward into this new year for yourself, a quality. And we'll have an opportunity to anchor that in and we'll keep coming back to that quality. And it's a lot of people talk about um, intentions and that's ultimately what this quality is. And you could consider writing this quality down after class and um, putting it on a post-it, sticking it on your mirror or somewhere where you're going to see it. Because if it's a quality you really want to invite into your world and into this full year ahead, it doesn't just stop with this moment now. It's something we can keep coming back to and keep um, being mindful of, say if we want to bring in a little bit more calm, then if we look at that in the mirror as we're brushing our teeth every day, then we could consider small ways that we can invite that quality of calm into our life. And we're going to be keep coming back to that into our practice as well. And if this is not something you're interested in, then you can just ignore me as well, as always. Remembering that everything I offer today is simply that. It is a suggestion. It is not anything that needs to be done. You're listening to me a little bit of the time, but mostly you're listening to yourself, your body, your intuition, your inner knowings, and deciding if something feels right in your body, if you would like to move in that way, if you need to adjust or adapt the number of repetitions or the angle or or depth or anything at all about that movement to make it more in line with working with your body instead of against it. So with a comfortable chair, considering sitting away from the back of your chair, if that's something you would like to do, feet at a comfortable distance for you. And then just do a little intuitive movement Maybe that hasn't already been done today, just kind of feeling into your body and how it is in this moment. And then when you're ready, we'll come to a stillness. Feel free on your next exhale to lower, soften your gaze or close your eyes. And take a couple of slower, more conscious breaths in and out, in your own rhythm. And then let the breath come back to its own natural cadence. And then tune in to the support underneath your feet your seat, maybe the back of your body. You could pick up through the toes and spread them wide if you like. You can pick up the balls of the feet. And then if you lifted the balls of the feet or the toes, allow them to gently soften back down to the earth. Once again, awakening that awareness to the support underneath you. Bring that awareness into your seat where it meets the chair. 
and if there's any adjusting you need to make if you're sitting more to one side than the other or if you want to adjust your shoulders over your hips so you're neither sitting forward or sitting back so we're stacking our vertebrae balancing the bones crown of the head we're reaching up towards the sky now so there's a whole lifting through the torso through the head and the neck rolling the shoulders a couple of times back and down allowing them to settle away from the ears in your own way take a big breath in when you're ready Keep the shape of the body, exhale, let go of the tension and tightness. Another couple of exhales like that. Feel your body softening, the muscles loosening. And then with this internal focus, allow the breath to come back to its own natural rhythm. And just take a moment here and notice how it is you're feeling in this moment. Maybe there's a lot going on in your body, your head, your heart. Or maybe there's not so much going on. Or there's a jumble of things. Just allow it all to be there. Don't need to figure it out or filter it. And then we'll tune in to our mind and notice thoughts, concerns, anticipation of the future or chewing over the past. Drop that awareness down into your chest and heart space or a place that makes sense for you for your emotions and notice emotions, feelings. And maybe there's a lot there, maybe there's next to nothing or you're not quite sure. There's no wrong way to do this. And then tapping into your body, your physical body, noticing sensations, noticing areas of tenderness maybe, or discomfort. Also notice those places of quietness, of ease that we don't normally pay attention to. Soften any tightness tension wherever you can and start to notice how your body is moving with your breath there is a slight lifting expanding through the chest the shoulders on the inhale and that softening of the exhale maybe bringing the lips together breathing in and out through your nose if that feels comfortable for you today and if it doesn't, then breathing in an easy, gentle way. And starting to deepen and lengthen that breath. Again, there's no wrong way to breathe. You don't have to match anybody else's breath. With that more mindful, expansive breath. Starting to steady the breath out all the way up to the inhale, top of the inhale, all the way down to the bottom of the exhale. The opportunity on the exhale is always to let go of any tension that may have built up somewhere along the line. And then we release any forcing of the breath of the body so there's a softness that creeps in and we have this longer, steadier, softer breath in and out in your own way. And here we take a moment and consider what do I wish to invite in to my practice today and into this new year? What quality do I want more of in my life? And again, it could be a word, it could be a couple of words or a short sentence. 
Um, and if you're not quite sure, you could try a few words on, as if you were trying a coat on, maybe calmness, maybe connection to self, to others. Let's go through a few, and if there's one that feels like it resonates with you more, then stay with that one. And it doesn't have to stay that one for the rest of the year, but we're just considering what would you like to invite more into your practice today and into this new year. And then imagine, sense and feel into what having that quality would feel like in your body. So if you were already calm, how could you embody that calm? What would it feel like? Is there a location in your body where it feels like it would be more present for you? And see if you can invite that feeling into the now as if you were already possessed that quality. And invite that quality into your breath. And it doesn't have to make sense. Invite it into your breath, your body, your mind, your heart. As if it was already present. And you could even imagine the expression on your face, how your body will feel, maybe tension drains away a little. Depending on your quality. And then you can state your quality to yourself again, uh, that word or that sentence, three times silently as if it was already present. So, for example, instead of I wish for calm, as if it was already present, I am calm. Three times silently or out loud to yourself, allowing those words to land. And we'll keep coming back to that quality, rooting down through the feet and seat, so getting heavy through that connection to the support underneath you and rising through the torso, through the crown of the head, roll the shoulders back and down once more, broad through the collarbones. And on the inhale, we're gonna lift the chin up, lengthen through the back of the neck so we're not just compressing the back of the neck, Exhale, chin down towards the chest. Inhaling the entire steady inhale, chin lifts. On the exhale, chin draws down. And invite that quality into the movement. So if you're putting a whole lot of effort in and your, your word or your sentence was gentleness, then can you embody that quality as you move? Two more here. Maybe that movement stays the same, gets smaller or bigger, depending on your intention. At the end of that next exhale, draw the chin down towards the chest and stay, drawing the collarbones wide and breathing into the back of the neck, upper shoulders, upper back, that steady quality of breath. And then when you're ready, the crown of the head reaches up towards the sky once more, dangling that right arm down, nice and soft. And on the inhale, we'll lift that shoulder, the shoulder up towards the ear, exhaling round. So we're circling with that right shoulder, being gentle with yourself. It's been a while since you've done some movement Inviting that quality into not only your body, your breath, but the movement as well. And then at the end of the exhale, we'll pause and then go around in the opposite direction. And of course, you can rest at any time. Notice where you feel this in your body. Embodying that quality that you invited in. At the 
end of that exhale, we'll keep that hand and arm still, and then we're going to lift up through the shoulder, elbow, and wrist, and then let it come down. So shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers. So it's a flow, and this can be a very small movement, that arm can be gentle and next to you, um, down by your hip. It can be a lifted, bigger movement. What we're looking for here is the flow of the movement. If it doesn't feel like it's flowing, then that is why we're doing it. Mm -hmm. One more, and then that right hand comes all the way back to support. Left hand dangles down, keeping the eyes soft, lowered or closed if you like, and we're circling through that left shoulder. Keep the breath steady, the movement mirrors the breath. Notice where you feel this, if you need to adjust it or rest at any point. And then when you're ready, we'll pause and take those circles around in the opposite direction. This may feel very different in your body. Mm -hmm. Noticing that, let's take one more. And then we'll come back to stillness. And then from here, broad collarbones, we're going to lift the left shoulder, elbow, wrist, and then the fingers. And then they flow down. So considering trying to find that ease of movement here. And again, this can be a really gentle, small movement. It can be a bigger movement. One is not better than the other. Let's do one more here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take both hands down. We're gonna go side to side. So start on that right side. So lifting up and then we'll go to the left. And then allow that to flow. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to look like it does in my body. Everybody's going to experience this and want to do this differently because we've got different things going on. Mm -hmm. And then we'll take those hands down and back to support. Any intuitive movement to release any tension, go ahead. Rooting to rise, that steady breath here. If you're sitting into the back of your chair, you could consider coming forward as we come into seated cat and cow. On the inhale, the hands draw back as the heart comes forward and we arch on the exhale, pushing the fingertips towards or on the knees as we round. You can bring that chin in as we lift and again lengthening through the back of the neck. Exhale, draw the chin in towards the chest. Getting that spinal movement all the way up through the base of the skull. Noticing how this feels. If you want to add on, we can add some arms in here. On the inhale, sweeping those arms wide. And on the exhale, drawing the fingertips forward and together. They do not have to um, touch Inhaling, sweeping wide, exhaling, fingers together. Now those arms can be high or they can be low. We've got another five here, so let that flow be your guidance, that quality that you're inviting in. Mindful of that three more, rest if you want to. Well, the hands can of course be sliding up and down the legs. Last one. And I'm gonna take the hands all the way down if they're not there already and come back to center. Big beautiful breath in. Exhale it out. Nicely done. Dangling those hands next to you, roll through the collarbones once again. Steady the breath. This is the inhale on the exhale. We're gonna reach those right fingertips down as the left shoulder lifts. 
Inhaling back up through center and exhaling down the other side. Get heavy now through your feet and pelvis, so your sit bones, making sure that as you reach to one side, the opposite hip doesn't get light or lift. So we're really feeling that connection down. Getting the, this is kind of like cat and cow, but side to side. So it's getting into the lateral flexion of the spine. For the last three on either side, option to lift one arm up and over. You can use the support of the lower hand on your chair should you want to. Again, making sure the feet and both sides of the pelvis are connected. One more either side. Finding that length through the side body and coming all the way back up. Once again, hands resting, coming into a gentle twist, rooting to rise. Invite that quality back in and stay with that quality as we twist. The inhale is lifting, the exhale, we twist towards the left, glancing to the left, maybe over that left shoulder, inhaling back to center. Left shoulder draws back, right shoulder comes forward as we twist. But the pelvis and the feet, the lower body is connected downwards. If you want to add on with the arms, the inhale, that left fingertips, those left fingertips come forward. On the exhale, we'll cactus that arm round and back, inhaling up and forward. Again, coming back to that quality. So if your quality was gentleness, and you are bringing a whole lot of tension in here, mimic the quality that you invited in. Let's take one more here. And we'll come back to center. This is the inhale and the exhale is sliding to the right. Left hand comes forward, right hand comes back. Once again, the lower body is connected down so that left hip isn't shuffling forward. If you want to add the arms, that right arm comes up, cactus it back, and inhaling, tapping down. That quality that you invited in, both in the breath and embodying it as we move. Looking back, towards the right or over that right shoulder. Let's take another one here. All the way back. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. And then we're gonna take those feet a little wider. Sitting more forward, if you want less support on your chair, sitting back or even into the back of the um, chair behind you so your back is supported if that feels more stable for you. Make sure that your feet are that connection down to the support underneath you. So once again, you can pick up the toes or even the balls of the feet, press down through the heels. And then when you're ready, the balls of the feet and the toes flow down too. Making sure that you do feel stable. And if you don't, then adjusting your foundation. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. We're going to dangle that right hand down from the elbow. Inhaling the fingertips up towards or on the shoulder. Exhaling down. Left hand is supporting you. Great place to stay right here. If you want to add on, starting to move from that right shoulder instead of the elbow. And depending on what feels good to you, keeping the torso upright or those fingertips can come up and over to the left. That left hand can support you. 
We've already kind of been here a little bit. Now we're getting a little more length through at that right side of the body, making sure that right hip roots down and is not getting light as the fingertips come to the left side. Option to stay here. Option to reach and stay. Hands can be overhead or the hand can come behind the, um, the skull and open up through the elbow. Left hand supporting you, great place to stay or reaching that left hand down and away so we've got the collarbones broad. Maybe that right elbow and the left hand even draw back a little, keeping those front ribs integrated so we're not popping into an arched back and breathing. Three breaths here. Any numbness, tingling, those right fingertips, and you're coming up, releasing that right hand. Last breath here. The left hand comes back to support and using that support, coming up and taking the right hand down. Coming to the other side after that intuitive movement. Left hand dangles from the elbow, inhaling fingertips up, exhaling down. This is a great place to stay. Crown of the head is reaching towards the sky. Option to start to move from the shoulder. Now this can be a very gentle, small movement and maybe that's enough for you. You can reach, keeping the torso lifted towards the sky, that right hand for support, option to take those left fingertips up and overhead. Once again, everything from the pelvis downwards is rooted, especially that left hip. Inhaling and exhaling, this is a great place to stay in flow, finding that length through the left side of the body, always resting, coming back to stillness. If you want to imagine that quality you're invo invoking, option to reach and stay you have that right hand for support left hand can come behind the skull opening up through the elbow if you like excellent place to stay here broaden across the collarbones or option to draw that right hand down maybe even back behind you as you open across the chest and stay we've got three breaths here what was the quality you invited in? Are you honoring that quality here? Staying for one last breath. All right hand comes back to support. Up we come with the left. And bringing that intuitive movement back into the body. Last movement, sitting. We're going to take those, um, keep those legs in that external rotation. Fingertips are supporting you here. And we're going to hula hoop through those mid ribs. So the inhale coming forward, exhaling back and round. Mm hmm. Noticing how that feels. Always adjusting to move with your body, not against it. And then we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Inhaling and exhaling. quality you're inviting into the movement, to your practice, to this year. And at the end of the last exhale, we'll come back to center, rooting to rise, and heel toe the legs back to center. Just wash the knees side to side, noticing how you feel this in your body. And then we'll come back Rooting to rise. Come back to that breath. 
come back to the shape and position of your body that feels good to you in this moment, embodying that quality you invited in. And you can stay here for as long as you like, tapping in, noticing what is present without judgment, just with a curiosity. Stay here. And when you're ready, I'll meet those of you who want to down on the earth, taking the chair out of the way, bringing with you anything you might need for the relaxation at the end of class, extra layers, pillows, a bolster, or um, firm pillows underneath your knees, maybe just close at hand. And I will see you down on the earth. From sitting, we're gonna come all the way to our back. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor, taking any extra support you need underneath you. Feet around a comfortable distance for you. Option to pick up the pelvis and just draw the sit bones a little closer to your heels, lengthening through the spine. Maybe drawing one shoulder blade and then another underneath you a little bit more. So we get this broadness across the collarbones. Once you're here, just like when we were seated, take a big breath in. Keep the shape, but soften any tightness, any tension. And if there's any adjustments you need to make to be more comfortable here, please go ahead. And as we settle into this shape now, gravity working in a slightly different way for us, start to steady the breath. Coming back to that longer, smoother, softer breath in and out that we established right at the beginning. And then inviting in that quality that you chose as if it was present. So not as if you wanted it, but as if it was really present. How would that feel to already have that quality in this moment? And you can, of course, repeat that intention, that quality, whether it's a word or a sentence, to yourself three times just to allow that to land in your body should you wish to. And then when you're ready, we'll draw that right knee in. Give it a little hug, hands coming to wherever they land, side of your thigh and inside behind your knee in front of that shin. And from here, we're gonna circle that ankle around in one direction, nice and slow, being mindful of what you're feeling, what you're experiencing. And then we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction, Getting that range of motion, but also stability and control. And we'll keep that flex in the ankle, just gently, maybe spreading the toes wide. Releasing the hands into a cactus or a T, or maybe down by your um, hips, or you can keep your hands resting on your ribs. And then on an inhale, I'm gonna shoot that right leg down and away from you. You can keep a nice bend in that knee. You can lengthen the knee, keeping the heel hovered from the earth. That's the inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna curl that back into the chest. You can give it a hug if you want. Or leaving the hands down, inhaling and exhaling using, if you want to draw that knee in, draw the thigh in towards the ribs as if you're pushing the air out on that exhale, on the inhale, allowing the air to fill back up on that right side, breathing into the right rib, and then exhaling it out, using that thigh to help you. So there's a slight compression there as we draw it in. Option to stay here. If you want to bring the arms involved, 
And then exhale, we're curling in, taking your hands to wherever those hands land as the knee comes in towards the chest. And on the inhale, as if you're holding a beach ball, open your arms up, up towards the sky, maybe overhead that beach ball can be as big or as small as you like to accommodate for your shoulders. And that exhale, we're curling it in. Find that length on the inhale, all the way from the right toes up through the crown of the head and the fingertips if they're reaching too. Let's take two more here. And again, pushing that air out on the exhale, especially that right side. Last exhale here, curling it in. And then we're gonna take that outer right ankle over the left thigh, coming into that figure four. Gonna adjust that left foot a little further away if that's a lot in the right hip or a little closer, depending on what feels good here. Keep the quality you invited in as you wing that right knee down and away from you. Great place to stay here. That right ankle is flexed, so we protect the knee. Option to stay here, option to elevate the left foot now, but that foot is also flexed. Hands can come to either side of your thigh underneath that left knee pit or in front of that left shin and we breathe into the right hip. Inviting that quality in. And you can use the left leg without the use of your hands to draw that right ankle a little closer and towards you. It doesn't all have to be through your arms and your hands. Take another couple of breaths here. Allowing yourself to rest should you need to. And then we'll take that left leg or the foot back to the floor if it's not there already. Right leg releases. Left knee draws in here, getting that Knee a little hug wherever your hands rest. And then we'll circle through that left ankle. That might feel a lot different from the right side. Again, we want the steadiness, that quality that you invited in. We'll pause and take it around in the opposite direction when you're ready. Always noticing the challenging places and the easy places equally. Keep a flex in that ankle. And on that exhale, give your thigh a little deeper hug in. So you're compressing the left side of the ribs, pushing the air out. And then on the inhale, releasing that leg and sending the left leg down and away from you, keeping a bend in that knee. It can come, um, the heel can hover to the floor with an extended or bent knee, you get to decide. And the exhale is that compression, the thigh into the ribs and the belly. Inhaling and exhaling. You can even listen to the sound of that breath as you squeeze the air out of on that left side. Inhaling and exhaling. A great place to stay right here if you want to bring the arms involved. That beach ball comes up to the ceiling or towards the floor overhead. That's the inhale, exhale, you're curling everything in. Finding length through the whole left side of the body from the heel all the way through the crown of the head and the fingertips if you're reaching and there's quite a bit of core going on here. And let's take one more on the 
one side, pushing that air out on the exhale. Now when that air is released, we're going to take that left ankle on the top of that right thigh, flex in that left ankle. So you protect that left knee as it draws away from you. You can adjust that right foot closer or further away, depending on how it feels in the left hip. Option to stay here, or option to draw that right thigh in towards your chest. We've already been here, but this time we have that left ankle on top of the thigh, thread the needle. Both ankles flexed here to protect the knee, only going as far as it feels comfortable in your body. Stay with that quality you invited in, even repeating it to yourself should you wish to, as if you're already embodying it. Not as if you want it, because that's the future, as if it's already here. Let's stay for one more exhale. And then we'll release the right foot down to the floor and release that left leg. We'll walk those feet a little bit further apart, cactus or a T with the arms, and we're rocking and rolling those knees side to side gently, or so much so that the opposite hip lifts. Noticing how that feels. And then we'll come all the way back up to center and taking those feet to a comfortable distance for you. Big, beautiful breath in and exhaling it out. And from here, drawing the belly button down into the earth. So there's a slight tilt of the pelvis here. The tailbone lifts a little as we draw that connection down of the belly in towards the earth. We're going to keep that connection down as we take the knees up above the hips. The closer those knees are towards your chest, the easier it's going to be to keep that connection of the belly button down into the earth. The heels can be down towards your seat or lifted towards knee height. And here we are with a little bit of core now, arms in a T or a cactus. And again, if you're having a hard time here, draw the knees a little bit further in towards the chest to keep that lower back connected down to the earth. That is much more um, beneficial for the body than straining and having the knees away from you, but overarching the back, then we're not getting that integral um, part of the core involved in this. Knees and ankles connected in towards each other wherever they are in space. This is the inhale. Keeping the shoulders um, connected down to the earth, both shoulders in a T or a cactus with the arms here. This is the inhale. On the exhale, I'm going to take the knees and ankles a little over towards the right. So much so that the left side of the pelvis starts to lift just a little and then on the inhale we're coming back to center again belly button down to the earth keeping that connection and then over the left the knees go over towards the left inhaling back to center now this is not a big movement if you consider the back of your pelvis in the center from hip to hip your just massaging that line across the back of the pelvis as if you drew a line from one side to the other. Now, if this feels comfortable and your shoulders are staying grounded, option to take those knees a little further. Opposite shoulder stays rooted. And again, arms in a cactus or a T, whichever is more comfortable for you. It's a whole lot of core involved here. It's not a very big movement. This is not about getting your knees as far as you can to one side or another. 
It's about the control of the movement, keeping that connection of the belly button down towards the earth, even when the knees are coming to one side and the other. Option to stay rocking and rolling from side to side, massaging that line side to side. Or next time the knees come over to the right, we're staying there three breaths. Draw the belly button down, even though the back of the um, body may not be connected downwards, that same pulling in and down. Keep the breath steady. Invite that quality in, even here. And then we're coming back to center on an inhale, over to the other side, option to hold three breaths. Belly button draws down and in, keep that connection. The opposite shoulder is connected deeply down for the last breath. And we're coming back to center here and hug those knees in. Rocking and rolling from side to side. Feet come down to the earth. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Shift the hips to the right. Keep that right shoulder rooted. And if you need extra support or blankets or pillows on the left side, please go ahead. Knees come up and over to the left as that right shoulder stays grounded. And again, any support you might need, blocks, bl uh, bolster, pillows underneath the lower um, right, uh, left leg, sorry, the knee, the shin, ankle. Play with how far up or how far away you want those knees to be. It's going to be different for each of us. And if that right shoulder is grounded, option to take the gaze over that right shoulder. Breathing, steady the breath, and embody that quality here. Not only in your physical body and the efforting you're doing, but in the breath as well. And you can, of course, repeat that quality to yourself at any time as if it is already present. Some steady breaths right the way down into the back of the body, into the belly here. Stay here for as long as you like. The gaze is over towards the right. As we come to the other side, it comes to center. Releasing the knees up to center too. Feet come down, hips coming back into a central place and then over to the left. Left shoulder is grounded. If you need to short, uh, shift your support over to the right side for your right legs, go ahead. Knees come up, keeping that left shoulder grounded. Knees come over. And shifting the legs to support your body in your own way. So that's going to be different for each of us. It might feel better to have the knees closer up towards your chest or further away. Breathing, inviting that quality into your breath, your body, your mind, your emotions. Taking the breath down into the belly, the lower back, or sensation where you're feeling it here. And when you're ready, the gaze comes to center, the knees come to center, feet down, shifting the hips back to a central place. And then you have a few moments here, if there's any other movement that you wish to bring into your practice to finish it off, maybe some happy baby, maybe just hugging in. If you're already ready for relaxation, you get to choose. And then when you're ready in your own time, setting yourself up for relaxation, and as you know, 
There's no wrong way to relax here. If you want to be on your side, your belly, your back, your knees can be lifted and towards each other, ankles wide. You can take support underneath the back of the thighs or the knees to support the lower back as you rest. And as you get settled, adding extra layers, taking any adjustments you need to find that quality of comfort. And so much of the time we get to a place and we're like, oh, it's fine. Could you offer yourself that extra two moments of adjusting something for it to feel even better than fine? And this is part of self-care. Noticing your needs and then taking the time to offer yourself support of those needs. And as you settle in and settle down, making those small adjustments when you're ready, take a beautiful breath in. Exhale it out, long and slow. A few more breaths just like that, big breath in. Exhale it out. With every exhale, start to invite your body to let go of tension, tightness, let go of your practice, letting go of the judgments and the thoughts, letting go of the inner dialogue. Let the breath settle back to its own soft rhythm. Giving yourself the opportunity to deepen into rest. And as you do that, Invite in that quality you chose into this moment too. Repeating it to yourself three times as if it was present. into the support underneath you, softening your joints, allowing your inner organs to release, and your muscles to loosen and lengthen, and the muscles of your face to soften. your skin to start to relax. And your thoughts to unwind and let go. Allowing yourself to simply be in that quality.
thoughts drift as they will. As many times as you need, state that quality in the present tense. And feel it being present in your body, your breath. your mind and your beautiful heart. Rest in that quality for as long as you need to, as long as it feels perfect for you. If you wish to stay for longer, tune my voice out. If you wish to finish your practice, feel that quality present once more mind, body, and spirit. Notice what it feels like so you can keep coming back to it in your day, your week, your year ahead. And it's an invitation, if it feels good to you, to really keep one quality for this year ahead until it feels that you no longer need it and you can move on to another one. Feeling the support underneath you and the space around you. Not needing to look, but just sensing into it. Sense the different textures of that support. Sense the air on your skin, the temperature. Notice the soft breath and how the body responds to that breath, expanding and letting go. Allowing a little bit more mindful breath in. Exhale like a soft sigh. Inhaling and exhaling. As you expand the breath, start to invite in awakening movements into your body in your own way, maybe starting at the toes, the fingers, maybe the neck glides side to side, or moving in your own way. There is no wrong way to awaken. And maybe you want to stay almost still. Or maybe you want to, over the next few breaths, 
Bring yourself to a different shape where you would like to finish your practice. Taking intuitive movements as you get there. Be gentle with yourself. Once you are where you wish to be, settling down into the support once more. Allowing that support to lift through the heart space. Your hands can come to any gesture that suits you today. On your next beautiful exhale, lower your chin just softly towards your heart. One more time, come back to that quality. Feel it as if it is already present in your body, your mind, your heart, your breath, your spirit. And maybe endeavor to bring this quality back into your awareness into your day, week, month, year ahead. From my heart to yours, namaste.